So Bob's seen it in the finder scope. Now he's going to center it into the telescope and the eyepiece, and then we're going to see it over here. Get that little red stool yep, yep, yep. And we'll see it over here on this monitor here. There it is. It just left the top of the screen. You want cross hatches or? Not yet. That's it. What? Is, is it there? It's in there. Yes. You gotta say something. There. Yes. We gotta focus a little bit. The other way, yep. More, 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 more. There. Not right there? Yep. Cross hatch? Yes, please. And now you'll see Bob, he's going to manually manipulate it so the star is centered. And this is how we get our alignment stars is aligning and telling the telescope exactly where the star is it's moving yeah, right. that's it that's our first alignment star Star two. Star two. Russell hog. How high is it, dang it? It's uh, eleven degrees lower than Vega, to the to the west. That sounds good. Russell hog egg. Is it by itself? Pick yes. a star fairly bright by itself. It is. So Bob can see it in the finder scope, but it's not in our eyepiece or in the camera yet. So he's going to manipulate it till we see it near the cross hatches, cross box. I'm going to tell him when it gets there. Okay. Not yet. There it is. It's in. It's right on the top line toward 3 o'clock. Right on top of the line. And see, now we can't see the stars with our eyes when we look in the sky because they're still uh, 
I'll show you. We'll look away from over here and we'll look at the night sky. That's what we're dealing with. Still got sunlight. So the telescope can see it. But we can't see it with our own eyes. And there he's got it in the center now. He's got it in the center. And so now we're going to do this for three more, after this, three more calibration stars. So I'm going to let you all go, and this is some of the process that we got to go through. And when we do it, and how we do it. We'll be back.